Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Today we're going to talk about a lab audit that we recently did with Hitachi Data Systems, HDS. And it was on how to maximize VM density, but do it on an NFS type of system. The goal of a dense VM environment is essentially to move us from a virtual environment that has maybe dozens of VMs to potentially three to four dozen VMs. But when we do that, we have a problem as we start to communicate to storage. Those, when we just had a dozen VMs, those are generating enough traffic that have created a lot of problems in the environment already. Once we take that out to two or four times that amount, the amount of traffic we generate is really substantial. The amount of uh, random I.O. that we're generating can really bring almost any storage system to its knees. And so we want a, we want a storage system that allows us to sp start with a you know, kind of normal uh, density, say 12 virtual machines or 20 virtual machines, and then really scale that to maybe 40, 60, 80 uh, virtual machines. And so th that requires a system that can scale. So one of the things we set out to really audit in this environment was how well could the Hitachi HNAS perform as we started to scale. There's a couple of attributes of the HNAS that we really like, but, and so we want to make sure we can keep those features and scale the environment. So let's take a look. The Hitachi product has the ability to scale what I would call in both directions. So in other words, it can scale up and it can scale out. So classic scale out means you have one node, you add another node, you add another node, and as you do this, performance and capacity grow with the system, okay? What we tend to see, though, is as these environments scale out, is that the, each individual node is substantially underutilized. So really what we want to do is we want to make sure we can, if you will, scale the node itself up before we scale out. And that's exactly what Hitachi can do. The other challenge as you get into very dense environments like this where we have all these virtual machines accessing the uh, storage is the interconnect between these nodes, will it become the problem? So those are the different things that we decided to test in this report. But I'll give you a quick overview now. Essentially what we did is we tested two configurations, both four nodes and then eight nodes. And what we wanted to make sure we saw is as we added nodes, did we also see a performance gain? And so what we were able to do is we took it out to eight nodes is we created an environment that was able to support 15,000 plus virtual machines. Now these could be virtual servers, probably virtual desktops in this environment, but clearly showed the scaling. The scaling was linear. Again, the details are in the report. To generate the load, which is another important factor, we used a product called VD Bench, which gave us really fine-grained control over creating sort of a mixed workload, random read, random write uh, type of activity. And that's important because we didn't want, we wanted a test that as best we could simulated the real world. And so that allowed us to get some granularity where we could control that. So the, the result of, uh, of a 15,000 uh, virtual machine environment is very impressive. What's more impressive though is we were able to maximize the use of every single node and then show linear scaling as it continued. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us.